Hey everybody, I'm here today to talk to you about an Apple Watch Series 6 that won't pair. I'll be going over how to pair it easily. I'll be specifically telling you about seven things that you can do to hopefully fix your problem and allow your Apple Watch Series 6 to pair with your iPhone. Let's get right into the video. Number one is to make sure that it's actually not paired. Believe it or not, a lot of people think that their Apple Watch is not paired with their iPhone, when in reality it is. Now, how do you check whether or not it's paired? Well, it's pretty simple. What you wanna do is, from your Apple Watch, you wanna swipe up to get to your control center. In the top left hand corner, it's gonna show an icon, okay? If it's a phone icon and it's red, it means that it is not paired, okay? There are other options, and those all mean that it's connected to your phone in some way, but if it's red, a red phone in the top left corner of your control center, that means that it's not paired. So that's the first step. If it's anything else, it means that it is paired in some way. So keep that in mind. Number two, is to make sure airplane mode is off on the watch and the phone. So sometimes your one of the devices is trying to make a connection with the other, but the other one is in airplane mode. So if you if your phone is in airplane mode because you put it in airplane mode before, your Apple Watch will not be able to connect with it and vice versa. So make sure none of your devices are in airplane mode. Number three is to make sure Bluetooth is turned on with your phone. So on your phone, if you turned off your Bluetooth before, you might have forgotten that you turned it off, and that's why your Apple Watch is not able to pair with your phone. So make sure that your Bluetooth is turned on on your phone. Number four, you wanna turn your phone off and on. So literally take your phone, power it down, power it back on. A lot of the times just powering your phone off and on will fix the problem, whatever the problem is. It just kind of resets everything and gives everything a fresh start. Sometimes apps are malfunctioning, sometimes the updates are malfunctioning, but by turning your phone off and on, you're giving it a fresh start chance and hopefully that fixes the problem. Number five is turn your watch off and on. So how do you turn off your watch? Very simple. If you look on the side of the watch, there's a crown and there's actually this other button right here called the side button. You wanna press and hold down that side button. When you press and hold it down, there's gonna be an option to power off the watch by sliding your finger across. So power the watch off. Once it's turned off, you just press that side button again, that same uh, longer side button, not the crown, but the other button on the side, you press that again to turn it back on. Um, and that will usually fix the problem if it's on the watch end of things, okay? Number six is make sure your iPhone's iOS is up to date. So a lot of the times, new iOS, the operating system that your iPhone uses, getting the newest iOS will solve any glitches or problems that have occurred with the previous versions. So maybe there's a glitch or a problem with your version of iOS that you're using right now and it being paired specifically to that watch. Whereas if you get the newest version, then hopefully, or the most up-to-date up version, hopefully they've solved that problem. That's always a possibility, a slim chance, but definitely a possibility. Last but not least is number seven which is get a professional to help. You want to, at this point, look for professional help if none of these worked, because there might be a more serious problem, it might be a hardware issue, and that is something that is much more difficult to solve. Um, so yeah, if you've tried all those first six things, step seven would be to go seek help from a professional, um, someone that really knows what they're doing, and they can sort of really get in depth with regards to what can be causing this issue with pairing the Apple Watch Series 6 to your iPhone. And that's it. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.